the picture. Well, hello all. We're in the workshop today um, and it's a bit of a mess as you can see it's because we've been busy in here or I've been busy in here. This week's been all about making up that sliding hatch. I've got, I've got a little board with a bit of fiberglass on it there that will be the top half of the washboards started in progress and the sliding hatch is here. Um, and as you can see, I'm just gluing up this, this strut onto it here so that the central strut has a, has a T section to it. That's the correct way up. You're looking at the top now. Um, cleaned it all up. Looking very nice. I've made it up out of a piece of mahogany. A um, piece of second hand mahogany that I bought on eBay actually. I've run out of my own supplies and uh, picked this bit up on eBay. Um, I say reclaimed. It wasn't the cheapest, but it's a beautiful bit of wood. It's really lovely and oily, great grain, great colour, cleans up lovely. So, well on the way. Two things still to come. Obviously, the, the, the plexiglass windows, cast acrylic windows going in there, or, or you know, windows. And also some plastic runners that are going to come under here where it runs on the aluminium profiles. Going to get a couple of bits of tufno on there. Um, had a bit of trouble finding suitable plastic to put on the bottom of there in this neck of the woods. But I've now bought some tufno and we'll be fitting that on there to make it run a bit smoother. Uh, but anyhow, that's where we are. I say this glue is, oh, it's nearly dry, nearly dry. And that's just about done. The woodwork's just about done for it. Looking good.
I had a few questions last week, or oh, oh, many, many weeks. I get a few questions about these, these little Bosch cordless tools that I use. The Bosch, um, they're all 12 volt Bosch professional line, the blue line. Uh, it's a little saw that I use. I did show it off once a long, long time ago, but that's the little saw, very nice. It's got the four amp hour battery in it. Obviously the batteries are interchangeable. That just happens to be the four amp hour one. Um, I've also got the little planer, the Bosch cordless planer. So batteries interchangeable. That's what the two amp hour battery looks like. Uh, the drill, I've got two of these. I've got the, the blue line professional one and the green line. You can barely tell because it's so covered in epoxy, but that is actually blue. Um, the wacky thing about the blue and green line is the batteries don't fit. The batteries from the green line don't fit the blue line, which is stupid. And the only thing that's different is the angle of that piece of plastic there. I'm sure with a, with a grinder you could make them fit, but anyhow, there you go. And somebody last week asked me about this little grinder, angle grinder, which is once again, Bosch professional line angle grinder. Very tiny, very small. You saw me cutting that um, stainless pipe with it. It's very nice. It's got a comes on. It's got a locks on. You know, it's, it's small and just for, for fine work, obviously. But but it's good. Various attachments. This is a, a stainless cutting wheel that I use for a few things. And in the box here comes with a a wood saw wheel and. It doesn't come with, but you can get these flappy discs for it, which I do use on this, and they're very good actually for, for a bit of sanding work. They work very well on this. On my big angle grinder that I've got laid here, I'll bring it out. I, I know many moons ago I told you I used the flappy discs on this, but I don't anymore. I only use the flat discs on this, much cheaper, and on the big angle, angle grinder are better. But I say, on the little one, the little rechargeable cordless, those little flappy discs are very good. So that's that tool. It's the Bosch Professional 12 volt line. Same as I've only got these four. That's the four that I use. They're all good. That is actually quite handy for little bits in little corners and you know, it doesn't get as much use as the other three, but it does get used. It's fine. Let's cut there.
Good, well, winter is coming. It's uh, autumn, obviously, raining. I dare say you can hear the rain on the shed roof. Um, but temperatures are fine. Anyhow, next week I'm going to try to give you a bit of a look around the boat. I know I did the inside of the boat a couple of weeks ago. I can try and look around the outside, and that's not the easiest. And I do feel that perhaps some of you haven't really got a, a picture of the boat as she is. Um, because we're in this shed, it's all very tight. The boat nearly touches both ends of the shed. At the widest part, there's not a lot of room either side, so it's very hard to get a good panorama shot. But next week, as I say, I should try to have a walk around, try and show you what's what. Anyhow, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, see you next time. Bye.